kind of form my thoughts on this. So I talked to someone the other day who was, uh, he's the child of a, of a billionaire and grew up when his dad was a billionaire. And he had the most balanced, thoughtful, wise view on money that I've ever heard, which was, you know, his, and he, he lived the high life, private jets, mansions, go on down the list. And it did not ruin him really? or his siblings. And Why? he said it was because his parents never made that big of deal about money. And they went out of their way to make sure that their kids knew that just because they have more money than other people, they are not better than them. To value people based off of their intelligence, their kindness, their empathy, not on the square footage of their house. And I think that's very hard to do. Their parents did a ridiculously good job. But your kids are going to learn your values, not your spending habits. You know, they, 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 may, they may get accustomed to some level of spending. And, uh, and that can be dangerous. This is not black and white, but I think mostly good they're going to learn your values. And the point that he made was whenever you see a rich, spoiled kid, a kid who is not only, not only has a lot of money, but he's just a brat, just a jerk. That's not because the parents were giving him money. It's because the parents did a really good job teaching him values. And so I think that's, I go back and forth between this idea of if you want to raise well-balanced kids, don't give them money. Don't spoil them. Versus actually we can give them a great material life if we are going out of our way to make sure that values are first.